Hey guys, today we're going to be creating the medical ID page. It's a profile that you can set up. It's going to appear off of the uh, medical ID button that shows up on the emergency call page. So it's going to have a scroll view in it. Yeah, it's just very simple. This will be a quick one. Uh, so we can close it off. And let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is create our shell container for the medical ID. Create a new layer, size it to our screen, 320 by 568, and we're going to rename it medical ID container. Don't forget to make it transparent. We're actually going to place it below these status bars so that our contents inside of it don't overlap and get on top of it. We're going to build it on top right now, just so it's in the middle of our screen, and then we're going to reposition the container. So first, let's add in our header in our assets folder. We have medical ID header. Just drag and drop this in, place it right on top. Make sure that we put it inside the container. First thing we're going to do, just to get this out of the way, we're going to create uh, the Done button. So make a new layer, add a uh, tap interaction to it, make this a little bit smaller, place it over Done, over here. Rename this MID Done button, and then add a tap interaction to it place this right on top of the header. And we're going to come back to that and add the animations that work based off of it, but it's nice to have this ready. So now we're going to bring in the profile. The profile is going to scroll, and if you haven't watched the videos on scrollable views on Pixate's website, I suggest you do that just to better understand this. But we're going to place this directly in right below our header. So the header size is 64 pixels, so we're going to make this uh, top right at 64. It's pretty long. It's a little bit longer than our screen, but that's okay because it's going to fade or scroll in from off screen. Place it beneath this header within this group. There. So now it's in our container. And then we're going to add the actual scroll view container. So we're going to add another layer. It's also going to be placed directly below the header, so at 0 and 64. So we'll make this transparent. And it's going to be down to the size of the bottom of the screen, so 504 pixels high. We'll rename this to Medical ID Scroll View. So now that we have this scroll container in here, we can bring our profile and just drop it right inside this container. So now that it's inside, it'll automatically scroll like this. Um, so you'll notice that you can, you can see through the background right now. The way to get around this is, fortunately for us, the background is going to be white. So we're going to come up here to this container. And I know we made it transparent earlier, that was to make this easier, but now we're going to turn it to white. So, as it loads now, our background is, is white. Great. So now what we're going to do is move this container off screen and position it to where it needs to be. Now it's normally placed, um, or, or sits on the bottom of the screen and appears when we tap on this medical ID button. So we're just going to place it right off screen at the bottom of the canvas. 568 is where the top pixel should be. And it's going to move in based off this medical ID button. We haven't made that yet, so we're going to go in and do that real quick. Go back to the emergency call container. We're going to create a new layer. And we'll just position it over medical ID. Make this transparent. Let's bring it inside the container. Rename it to MID button. And don't forget to add the tap interaction to it. So now we can go back to the medical ID container. We're going to add a movement animation. 
just call this move up. And it's going to be based off of the medical ID button tap. It's going to stay with duration to final value. And we're actually just going to make it, just make sure this is aligned, we're just going to make it move its top up to zero. Currently its top is um, down at 568 down here, where, so it's going to move all the way up. We're going to use a ease out quadratic. This is typically we've been using the 0.4. This one actually moves in a little bit faster. So we're going to do 0.3 and there's going to be no delay. So now when we hit this button, it appears just like that. So now we're going to set it so that this done button works and pulls it back down. So we're going to make this small, add another move animation. We'll call this move down. And it's going to be based off the MID done button tap. With duration of final value. And we will make it go back down to its current position, 568. Could use the same ease out quadratic, 0.3. So now when we look at this, and it's over, hit that, scrollable, hit done. And there's one final bit of um, just clean up that we're going to do. And we're going to make this page, this scroll view, reset on drag. So you see I left it up when I, when I close this. And when I come back, it's automatically up. It, it shouldn't do that. It should reset to its position. So we're going to come into here to the scroll view container and the scroll uh, profile. We're going to add a move animation to it. We'll call this reset on close. And it's going to be based off of the medical ID done button tap with duration to final value. And we're going to move the top of right here to, to connect to the top of or the bottom of this header. So if it's up here, we want it to move down to this position. This header's height is 64 pixels high. So we're going to set it to move to 64 pixels. We're going to do this, we don't need a duration, it doesn't matter, so we'll just turn it off. Because it's going to happen invisibly anyways when the screen's not, not in view. So now when we come in here, if I do this, I'll leave it up here. I'll hit done. I come back in here, there we go. It's automatically reset. So that's it. In the next video, we are going to create the iOS notification center uh, with today view and, the, and notifications. And then in a later video, we are going to create the control center. Now, both of these are going to incorporate uh, positions, drag on release positions, um, some asset fades based on positions, uh, and the fun one about this control center is we actually make these sliders and the uh, background will actually lighten and darken based off this slider. So look for that and thanks for watching.